<laughs> Hi there, thanks for the dislike. I love Halo and I love customizing my character, and with Infinite just a few months out and my excitement juices flowing to uncontrollable pressures. Woo! Chief is back, baby! <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh, burn us. I wanted to throw my hat into the Halo ring on the hottest topic, armor customization. Plenty of longtime Halo fans will be pretty split between 3 and Reach on which game did customization the best, but I would like to propose Halo 4 for doing it the best, with reasons I almost never see people bring up with their arguments against it. And obviously this is all opinions that you're free to disagree with. Be respectful in discussion, etc, etc. Before I do though, I'd like to ask you to totally ignore the art style and design of the armors themselves in the games. That's not what I'm talking about, and I feel is one of the reasons people are sour to Halo 4 and 5's armor. The design. But forget that for a second, because I'm with it there. I'm not a big fan of most of the designs either. When people say they like the customization options in 3 and Reach, that's usually what they mean. They like the designs and options on offer. That's not what I'm referring to. So yeah, forget the designs of the armors and how they look. Just pretend they have all the same art style for a second. Just pick your favorite, it doesn't matter. I'd propose to look at the actual options available to customize, the available changeable pieces, and how they fit onto the Spartan. In Halo 3 you have helmet, left and right shoulders, and chest. In Halo Reach you have helmet, left and right shoulders, chest, wrist, utility, knee guards, visor color, and armor effects. That's a pretty nice upgrade, right? And in Halo 4, you have helmet, left and right shoulders, chest, arms, legs, and visor color. Now, at a glance, that may seem like a step down, but I disagree, primarily because the arms and legs, and also how the chest piece is generally implemented. In the older two games, the chest pieces were sort of weird, and Halo 3 pieces were kind of attached on top of the chest piece, like the CQB chest. And I love the CQB chest, it's my go-to because it gives you a knife. But take a look at it, and you can see it's just sort of on top of the base Mark VI. Same with the EVA and Hayabusa, and and scout chests. They're not entirely different chest pieces, they're more like things placed on top of the chest. And the same thing with Reach, too. A lot of the chest pieces were mostly just attachments onto the chest, instead of totally different chest armors, aside from a few notable exceptions. Where I think Halo 4 does this better is the chest pieces are entirely different with each option. Again, ignore the actual designs for a sec, just ignore how they look. They were all full pieces that replaced each other as opposed to just being laid on top of the default. Now let's take a closer look at Halo Reach actually, because although there are technically more options to what's available to customize, a couple of those options are sort of minor and nearly unnoticeable, like the wrist piece and the utility and the knee guards. It's just a small minor piece kind of just attached to the Spartan. I personally think being able to change the entire leg or entire arm pieces is much better and more significant in personalizing your Spartan than a med kit on your thigh that barely anyone is going to notice. Another minor step up I personally think Halo 4 has, and to a slight extent Halo 5, is armor variants, where the secondary color placement and patterns on the pieces of the armor can be customized via different variants of that same armor. And I think that's pretty cool to have the option to have your secondary color be a part of a camo pattern, or some stripes or something. Now this has its own issues, with some variants barely even having the secondary color visible, and just filling up the menus with a bunch of armor slots, but I think that could be fixed with a slight little UI tweaking. But again, like I said, ignore the designs themselves, and having just the option is pretty cool. That's mostly all I wanted to get off my chest because it's something I don't think people bring up enough when talking about Halo armor designs when discussing what makes which game's customization good, and I think it overlooks the good Halo 4's options did in favor of criticizing the design of the armor, which again, is not what I'm talking about, just the options. So yeah, that's my opinion, and the video's topic is pretty much over, and if that's all you care about, you can go. But if you're still here and interested in hearing me talk a little bit more, I wanted to propose an armor customization option that implements the best of both the classic Halo and new Halo customization options, and that's attachments via Halo Reach's helmets. In Halo Reach, each helmet had variants with various different attachments on them, whether it be some sort of HUL that added an extra piece of protection over the visor, or an uplink that had like a little camera on the side. What if we had that except on every piece? Imagine you can change the entire chest piece on the Spartan. Not just slapping on an extra thingamabobber on the default chest, like change the whole piece. Then you can add on some extra stuff like Reach's chest piece options. Have some ammo pouches, or a grenade belt, or that cool ghillie patrol cloth thing that June has. Basically make Halo 4's chest option the base chest 
chest option, then make Halo 3 and Reach's style of chest option a secondary one on top of that. And you could extend that to the shoulders and arms and legs too. Make the wrist a secondary option of the arms, the utility and knee pads a secondary option of the legs. Pick an entire leg piece to change and then have a submenu that lets you line your calves with throwing knives on top of it or something. Halo Infinite is just over the horizon, so I wouldn't anticipate this idea being picked up by 343, and if it was, then it probably already existed long before this video. And I wouldn't be sad if we did just go back to the Halo 3 style of having a very small selection of changeable pieces, but it's just sort of an idea that I liked and wanted to share with the world. Anyway, oh my god, the bandit star in Halo Infinite! Holy fuck! Ah! Oh, and bring back Flaming Helmet, that would, uh, please.